Sharp watch here.
That was close. I could certainly provide more work for a mercenary of your caliber. I'm listening. Our position is weak. The Spartans will drive us back if we don't do something quickly. Stay strong. Your fellow soldiers are depending on you. You're right. But the unit that keeps engaging us, we just aren't a match for them. They fight like titans. We need to even the odds. You need me to destroy the military supplies? That's right. I'm in. I'm glad to have someone of your strength on my side. Here. You hear the good news? We are going to get some time off. Oh. Mm. So tired. Be nice to see the family. And drink myself silly. I get it. Ha! <laughs> You'll probably go prostrate yourself in some temple the whole time. Ha! <laughs> Cool. 
need to talk to her. I see him. Thank you for freeing us. That beast Galeos has worked us all to the brink of death. Now I can return home to my family. Let's ride.
Giddy up. Back already? Did you destroy them all? It would be hard to piece them back together. Well done, my friend. You've earned your keep, that's for sure. Please, accept this as thanks. That'll do. You're strong. Good. Gather your things and meet me at my ship. I freed the slaves. I've treated his injuries enough to stabilize him, but he isn't out of danger yet. I don't know if I can bring myself to complete the treatment. I've freed his slaves and his business is finished. Perhaps our kindness will show him there is another path. If I do nothing, I'll be no better than him. I'll make sure he recovers. When he does, be sure to tell him how his life was in our hands. Only the gods have the power to decide life and death. What I do is insignificant compared to their benevolence. I've seen you save many from a trip down the Styx. But look at the plague. For all my knowledge and experience, I could do nothing against it. I have to accept that my reach only goes so far. Thank you for your help, my friend. I must go. I have an appointment with a patient elsewhere. Forgive me, Mistios. There are many who still need my help. Oh, 
Everybody's about to Eagle Barrel! Here to share in our coming victory? You seem pretty confident about the battle ahead. What makes you so certain you'll win? After many skirmishes, we finally got those Athenian dogs cornered. With your help, we can send them running with their tails between their legs. <laughs> what do you say? You've got my sword, Spartan. Good. We'll need all the iron we can get. A bad day for Athens! A glorious day for Sparta!
Pocrates, you know it's unwise to upset a patient. He asks me to end his life when he knows I can't. Messius, please help me. I'm in such terrible pain. You cannot simply ask someone to kill you in my presence. I'm your physician. I will not allow it. I can ease your pain, analyze your symptoms, and try to cure you. But that's all. Life is about choice. And we should all be able to choose for ourselves when we leave this world. And I will. Once I know my family's future is secured. Secured how? My family is one of the richest in Thebes, and we have many rivals. When I die, my son will become the head of our house. Uh, uh, he's just a boy. Uh, uh, I need to ensure they can't take advantage of my death. I'll deal with your rivals, and give your son a fighting chance. Thank you, Mistyus. If you steal their assets, it will weaken their position and prevent them from posing a threat to my family. That will buy my son time. Stealing isn't normally what I'm paid for, but I'll get it done. If doing this helps bring him some semblance of peace, I will pray for Tiki to watch over you.
I've done what you asked. Your family's position will be secure for quite some time. You have given me hope that my name will live on long after I'm gone. All I can ask the gods for now is that my son lives a longer and happier life than I. I'm in your debt. You don't owe me a thing, really. Now, it pains me to ask, but I need your help with one more thing. I know what you want to ask. This disease will claim me, be it today or another in the future. It's a matter of when, not if. Hippocrates won't just let me kill you. No, but he listened to you. If you can convince him it's what's best for me, he might change his mind. I don't want to slowly waste away. I want to die in peace while my family remembers me in a good light. I'll talk to him for you. I appreciate your help. You've shown me more kindness in the last few days than most have my entire life. Now I must rest. If you have a moment, I would ask you to help me with something. He seems to be resting peacefully now. Yes, you helped ease his mind, but he'll never truly be at peace until he takes his last breath. When will that be? It's hard to tell. Judging by his symptoms, it'll be sooner rather than later. I can lessen his pain, but to do so, I'd need some hemlock. I'll collect the ingredients you need. Thank you. It won't stop the pain entirely, but I hope it'll help him feel more comfortable. He doesn't want to feel better. He wants to die with some dignity. True dignity would be fighting through this, so I can analyze his symptoms further. He wants to die and he's in pain. You should respect his right to choose instead of treating him like an experiment. What you're doing is wrong. I will not be lectured on the morality of my work by a sellsword. I have a responsibility, like all healers, to use my knowledge for the betterment of others. I'll get the hemlock you need. Better stay hidden.
One half without the other is nothing at all. I have nothing left to lose.
Eagle Bear, you're just in time. A battle's brewing, and we could use a mercenary of your strength to conquer Spartan borders today. All right, I'm in. Glad to hear it. Let's send those Spartans to Hades. Today, Sparta will bleed! Yeah. 
Come on.
They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. <laughs> I wonder if the cult's working here, too. Yeah. 